What's up, everybody? All right, guys. So I just picked up an insane, <laughs> awesome card that if you are a vintage uh, collector, you're going to want to stick around until the end of this video. Uh, even if you're like a modern collector, you know, what the hell, might as well stick around for this because um, I think you'll definitely appreciate it. Uh, but I figured this it's mid-year. Uh, it's mid-July now. Uh, and, uh, maybe a couple weeks late, but I figured we'd do a top 20, uh, mid-year review of the cards that I picked up so far this year. And, uh, you guys may notice that, uh, I'm very, I've been very top heavy. I've been focusing on uh, some of the bigger cards. So like my top 10 is pretty impressive. And then my like 20 to 11 is not really anything special at all. But uh, anyway, let's get dive right into it. Um, so at number 20, and I, I figured I'd get a uh, Topps Project card in there. So at number 20, I wasn't sure which one to choose, so I just kind of put them both at number 20. Uh, so this is the Topps Project 2020, uh, the Thiel and the Baller. I think the Thiel goes actually for more than the Baller right now, I, I think because of the print run. Uh, but, uh, I'm actually still, you know, like I said, a, a fan of project 2020. I've ordered, I think another three cards, uh, from that, uh, you know, I think for 20 bucks, they're, they're high quality, good looking cards. But anyway, that's at number 20 at number 19. Uh, again, nothing special, but I pulled this out of a pack. Uh, this is a Chris Paddock, uh, rookie auto. I know a lot of people have some high hopes for, uh, Chris Paddock this year and in the future. So that's at number 19. At number 18, and again, I had to, I felt like I had to get this in there. Uh, this uh, was, I don't even remember his name, Richie Martin. Um, Ricky Martin, <laughs> one of one printing plates, and uh, pulled this. This was the first ever uh, printing plate that I've ever pulled. It was the first one of one that I ever pulled from a pack. Uh, so I thought it definitely deserved to be in my top 20 uh for this year so far so uh and i just looked up uh, uh Rick, ricky martin uh looks like he's um just had surgery so he's out for the 2020 season we're only a couple of days away guys uh from the uh opening day which is awesome so just a couple of days away so i'm super excited for that uh at number 17 is uh this jason dominguez and I was really uh, happy to pull this out of a, Me a Bowman Mega Box in that last pack. I, I pulled the uh, Bobby Witt and Jason Dominguez. Apparently, um, those two cards a lot of times will go together in the Mega Boxes. So just keep an eye out if you guys hit the, uh, you know, the Jason Dominguez in a 2020 Mega Pack. Uh, you might be also seeing a Bobby Witt. So right now I have this. I, I think at, at uh, se 17. Uh, so number 17 for the year, um, really cool looking card. Um, at number 16 is a card that I got from a man, Mike. O. uh, he was doing a, a little auction. I picked up this 2019 tops living. I think he gave me, gave it to me for 20 bucks. Really nice looking card. I'm a big fan of pretty much anything Mike Trout that you can get your hands on in a PSA 10. Um, so got this from Mike and, uh, is at number 16, uh, also, uh, from Mike, uh, picked up the, my favorite pickup, um, from him, actually this one and this one. So at 15 and 14, uh, picked both of these cards up from Mike, uh, really like this, uh, Johnny Padres 1959 tops, uh, got this in a PSA eight. And then of course my man, Luis Robert or Luis Robert, I don't know what, how to pronounce it, <laughs> but uh, a lot of people expect this kid to, uh, possibly win, Rookie of the Year in the shortened season at number 14 in an SGC 9. Uh, at number 13, a card that I've talked a lot about is the uh, 2018 Holiday Acuna in a PSA 10. You should be able to pick this up. Uh, if you want a copy of this, uh, this is the bat down version for as little as like $70. Nice, really, really uh, great looking image. Uh, part of that 2018 set. So there you have it in PSA 10. Uh, at number 17 uh, is, where am I at? No, I'm at uh, number uh, 12, I think. Yeah, number 12. Sorry, guys. Uh, number 12, 1980 tops Ricky Henderson uh, in a PSA 8. I actually pulled this out of one of those uh, Leaf Best of Baseball, uh, and this is the card that I got. Uh, Ricky Henderson, my second Ricky Henderson rookie. 
Uh, at number 11, and I actually bought four of these, <laughs> but I'll just show off one right now. This is the 2001 Upper Deck Tiger Woods. Uh, he's actually in a tournament as we speak and just barely made the cut. I think he was four over today, but uh, he was minus one and uh, barely made the cut, but I'm sure he's not going to do too well in this tournament. But uh, picked up four of these, uh, 2001 Upper Deck and a PSA 10. You can still get these for about 230 um, At number 10, so this is where the, the list gets a little crazy. So at number 10, we got the uh, 97 Fleer David Arias, uh, David Ortiz in a PSA 10. All right, so at number nine, uh, we have this 1974 Tops Dave Winfield in a PSA 9. So this was part of that uh, video that I did, uh, my best Tops card from 1952 to uh, 2020, and uh, didn't have a 74 Tops card, so went ahead and got that. Um, at number eight is uh, this Bob Gibson, the 59 Tops Bob Gibson. Uh, got the uh, the Urmsy, <laughs> the Gibson Urmsy. So I went ahead and got this beautiful uh, Gibson, uh, really nicely centered, 59 Tops in a PSA 6. Uh, at number seven, I, th I believe, um, the 93 Tops Gold Derek Jeter in a PSA 10. Uh, got this from B, B. Roth 6 earlier in the year, back when... Uh, we actually could talk to people <laughs> face to face. And uh, so uh, really cool. I actually met uh, B Roth six, Brian at a, a pub in the city. And, um, and he, uh, that's where I purchased this 93 tops gold Derek Jeter and a PSA 10 back, uh, back in, I think January earlier this year. Um, at number six is this beautiful 89 tops traded Tiffany Ken Griffey jr. In a PSA 10. Really love this card. Um, all right, and then the number, uh, so this is the top five, and this top five is pretty insane. So starting with the uh, LeBron James, um, the 2003 Tops LeBron James, this card has already gone up 33% since I bought it. Um, just unbelievable, these basketball cards, how they're just flying in value. Uh, so anyway, this is the 03 Tops LeBron James at number five. Uh, at number four is this 2000 Bowman Chrome Tom Brady in a PSA 10, which has basically quadrupled in value since I bought it, I think like back in February or March. So really awesome card to have at number four. Uh, at number three is this beautiful uh, 2018 Topps Chrome Sapphire Ronald Acuna in a PSA 10. Really love this card from Sapphire. Uh, at number two, um, and of course I made that Lion King video <laughs> with this uh, Derek Jeter. Uh, this is the 93 SP. Got a lot of dust on it. 93 SP foil in a PSA 9. All right, guys. So at number one, the card you guys tuned in to see. Here it is. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, so this is the 1948-49 Leaf, Babe Ruth, SGC6. Um, just absolutely breathtaking. Um, one of the most beautiful cards I've ever seen. Um, might be my, I don't know, in terms of vintage cards, I mean, maybe the Cap Anson has this level of beauty, but uh, just such a nice looking card. It's really hard to get these cards uh, nicely centered. Uh, this is about as nicely centered as you can get. I've seen PSA 10s with worse centering than this. Um, and uh, great looking eye appeal. It's hard to even really tell what brought it down to a six. I mean, there there's this little dot here and then there's like a dot up there, I guess. But uh, look at that card. I mean, and obviously it's a little, I guess, you know, if you really want to say it's a little off center from top to bottom, but uh, man, oh man, look at this card. <laughs> it's really phenomenal. Um, and I, I'm sure you guys are going to see it was, I did buy it from PWCC and I know you guys are probably like, why would you do that? Um, but uh, I know that there's been a lot of talk about SGC and, you know, the shenanigans with PSA. This is an SGC card. Uh, so that made me feel a little bit better about it. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just had to have it. And I guess 
I guess, uh, not that I care, but PWCC had it in their, I guess, top 30%. Like, um, like I really care about that. Um, but I mean, look at this card. Unbelievable. So the leaf card, um, from what I understand, a lot of people believe this actually is a 1949 card and not a 1948 card. Um, and then of course, D uh, Babe Ruth actually passed away, uh, in I think August of 48. So, um, a lot of people believe that this was sort of, you know, obviously a tribute to, uh, the Babe, uh, and a card that was made in 1949 and, um, really cool to see him, you know, obviously in the Yankees hat and you guys know, um, throughout the year, I've been kind of going after the goat. It's been the year of the goat. Uh, you know, I got the Tiger Woods, I got the, uh, the Tom Brady, and now I've added another goat, even though I have the, uh, 33 and 35 Gaudi roots, uh, I figure why not add another, uh, Babe Ruth to, to the collection. So, I mean, it fits so many things that I want in a collection, which, um, you guys know, I'm, you know, a, Yan a huge Yankee fan. I'm all about collecting the legends, you know, the, the huge legends of the game, the most iconic cards in the game. Uh, been collecting goats. And then, of course, um, one of the things that I've been preaching on this channel is cards that look like they're, they're better than the grade. And this card, uh, in my opinion, looks like it could even be better than a six, which is hard to believe that I'm looking at a, you know, a 1949 Babe Ruth card that you could easily argue, uh, you know, looks better than a six. I, I think it looks better than a six. I don't know what you guys think. So, um, I guess that corner could be better, <laughs> but, uh, these, you know, look at these corners are pretty nice. The edges are good. Yeah. I guess this corner looking at it closely, that's probably what brought it down. But I mean, man, oh man. I mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful card. Breathtaking really is breathtaking. And I know that's kind of a cliche thing to say, but um, I like to say cliche things. So there you have it, guys. Um, my top 20 cards so far for this year, 2020. The year is not even over yet. We're only halfway through the year, and that is my top 20. I can't wait to see how this all kind of pans out, and then we'll do one more video <laughs> at the end of the year. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you. Later. Peace.